Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In QuickBooks, you can enter checks directly into the QuickBooks Write Checks window. When you enter a check into this form, you can see address information and easily allocate the checks amount between multiple accounts if necessary at the bottom of the window. This form also corresponds to the check entries made within the register for the selected checking account. To write checks in QuickBooks, select Banking from the menu bar and then choose the Write Checks command to display the Write Checks window. Start by selecting the checking account from which the funds will be withdrawn from the Bank Account drop-down at the top of the window. Next, decide whether you will be printing the check or whether you will simply be recording a check or other electronic withdrawal transaction. If you're recording a check that you have already written or recording an electronic withdrawal, simply enter the check number into the number field. You can enter your own code for checking withdrawal transactions that lack a code, such as an ATM withdrawal. Otherwise, if you intend to print this check at a later point in time, check the Print Later checkbox that appears within the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window. Then enter the date of the check into the date field, or select it from the field's calendar date selector. Then select the name of the payee from the Pay to the Order of drop-down. The payee's name and address information will then appear within the check. Then enter the amount of the check into the Dollars field. Now once you've completed the upper portion of the Write Checks window, assign the amount of the check to one or more expense accounts within your company's chart of accounts by using the Expenses tab at the lower section of the window. To do this, select the first account to which you want to attribute the amount spent from the first row within the account column. Now QuickBooks will normally want to attribute the entire amount to that account shown in the Amount column. Now if you need to split the total amount of the check to multiple accounts, simply change the amount shown within the amount column to indicate how much of the total check amount to attribute to the selected account. You then repeat the process of selecting the next account from the next available blank line underneath the account column, and then entering the amount to attribute to that account within the adjacent amount column. Now once you've distributed the entire amount of the check to all of the correct accounts within your company's chart of accounts, you can click either the Save and Close button to save the check and close the Write Checks window, or click the Save and New button to save the check but leave the Write Checks window open so that you can continue writing more checks. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.